Day number three, if I'm not mistaken. I'm already losing track. I literally just arrived, 7.30 in the morning, and I saw that the world is from next door, have their little trolley, and are coming to, I think it's just a fit to see if they need to make any more adjustments, and if it works, I think they're gonna leave because they already asked me to put the car a little bit more forwards so they can fit there. And then, uh, I don't know, I think they'll leave one more time and then come back and fit it. Super exciting. I think that's the main job of today. Yesterday you saw that we finished the sacrificial keel. I've got a little bit more finishing to do as in plugging the holes and uh, fairing the port side. But other than that, I think that's pretty much done. I wouldn't want to leave it like this because it's always going to be a slightly unfinished job. So I'm going to finish it completely, try and even get some paint on it or some epoxy resin at least so that all we need now or all we need later is just to put the anti-fouling on. Oh yeah, let's get all this. Uh, are they bringing the trolley back? Let's get all this camera gear and these beers up to the boat, put, some, put them in ice for later and uh, let's get cracking. I hope now you guys see what the plan is here. It's literally a big protective casing around here to keep all this nice and firm. We can weld anything onto it, like, or whatever. That's gonna be put in place. So it's a bit longer underneath. They just took some last measurements. I think they're gonna go back now. They're gonna cut their last bits here uh, precisely. They're gonna paint it or primer it, and then they're gonna come back and then they're gonna weld it in place. I'm super excited for this. Uh, while I'm waiting for them, Nico's up there caulking some parts of the deck very quickly. Uh, well, not very quickly, very good. And I'm going to go over very quickly, as fast as I can, because I don't want to be under the boat anymore. Uh, sanding all this up over here. You see all that black tar. So I'm just going to go over this side, also fill all the. I'm also going to plug all the uh, holes, counter some holes underneath and then put a layer of epoxy resin on. And then this is literally a done job. And the next step will literally just be uh, anti-fouling. It was a little bit hectic this morning as the moment I arrived, the welders were here, but we've got that all sorted and out there off doing their own thing. Uh, welcome to Seining about where MP and I are rebuilding this huge wooden boat with the help of a bunch of amazing shipwrights and other skillful craftsmen. In the last two videos, I forgot to tell you, we're actually posting every single day now until the launch, so stay up to date. If you like it, don't forget to subscribe and like the videos. In the last two videos, we really worked hard on getting this sacrificial keel in place. Zenka did an amazing job. If you haven't seen that, go back and watch them. The only thing that's left for me to do now is to literally get the sanding or the grinder and sand this side, because Zenka worked a lot on the other side already. I'm gonna make this nice and smooth, get rid of all this tar, and also uh, plug the holes underneath so that I can apply some epoxy resin. And then literally the next step of the sacrificial keel will be anti-fouling with the rest of the underwater line. Now, this should be quite a quick job, but very annoying as it's on the ground. But let's get this job finished so we can move over to the next big job, because there is still a lot to do.
thing you can kind of see how today is going to flow they're going to be the main project of today which i will follow as good as i can and in between i'll do all my little things and hopefully oh, i'm super curious to see how this is going to look finished you can see can you see the tops of these are black and that's exactly the same product i put in between the sacrificial peel and the peel except i left it way thicker so that when it was like screwed in it's sandwiched and kind of glued together yeah they're using it as kind of base paint before putting onto the boat It's now lunchtime, everyone has left, so that gives me a bit of time to explain what the process is here. The bottom plate is on already, I don't think that one's going to leave. It's not going to be screwed onto the keel. Uh, this plate here had been pre-drilled over there at their workshop and all we did now is we went through the holes they made through the wood and the other plate on the other side is also one. So that drill bit kind of made a little mark on the other side which they're going to drill in the workshop as well. So I think this one might stay. They probably will leave it and put it back for some other reasons but this one is ready. The bottom one is ready. The other one needs to be pre-drilled. Everything's going to be drilled on first and then going to be welded together. I don't know, that was just a guess. Ignore me, we'll see what happens. But uh, either way, it's lunchtime. This is going to stay here. When they're back, they're going to work on the other side. And I think we might have this ready by today. It's nice because the boat itself has got a layer of epoxy, a layer of epoxy prime, a layer of epoxy paint, and then another layer of epoxy. And then they're going to use all Seeker Flex to fasten this on. So this is going to be really cool. Time to eat, see you in a bit. adding all the little epoxy compound that I wanted. Like, I'm pretty sure it wasn't needed 100% because the tar itself doesn't allow any of the water, uh, wood to rot here. But uh, lots of it was just glued all together and there were just some tiny bits where it didn't like, you know when you tighten the screw, it didn't squish out. So that's what I wanted to fill. And I also closed up all the holes with the uh, lug screws. Now, and they, they've taken the plate off the back of the boat, and I'm going to go and screw it now. I need to go and get some threaded bars, nuts and washers. And I'm also going to go up there and help Nico for a second at some point because he's going to make a big batch of deck caulking compound which we tend to apply to the spatula. I push it really hard into the grooves and in the, in the seams and then just let it cure 
once a day for half a day, all night and tomorrow morning, and then the deck should be fine for launch. And then he can also move over to the next thing and help us. So I'm going to do those chores now. Yeah, it's cure. It's probably going to need a little sand, and then I can paint it with epoxy before anti-fouling paint goes on before the water. That's practically the last job I have to do for the keel before epoxying it, but they've arrived and I see they've got the welder with them, so we're going to have a see on what they can put together. Mickey, Mickey, what happened to your nose? Hey, what happened to your nose? Look at me. They've left again with the plate. I don't know why exactly, but I'm gonna just jump back on that grinder and get all this sanding done, and then we'll flick back to the welders. And they'll probably leave again, and then I'll do the other side. That's how caring Nico is, guys. He was literally working up there with the umbrella or the umbrella himself, 
and he saw that the next welds have to be done over there in the sun. So Nico literally gave his umbrella to these guys for welding. Also, Bruce gave me a little welding lesson and I'm very happy. I did make the welds very thick, so he had to do a bit more grinding than usual. But I can tell you it penetrated through the seam of it and I'm very happy with it. First time I think I'm welding uh, steel and not stainless steel. It's uh, quite nice because it's thick and you don't burn holes through it as quick as you do with the thin steel we've been using on the engine. Guys, very, very, very fun fact. So Bruce was helping me with welding. And the other guy is called Lee. Bruce Lee, how cool is that? We've got these two guys working with us from next door and they're doing an absolutely amazing job. You saw that they spot welded everything in place while it was on the rudder, on the keel, removed it all. And now while it's off, they're doing the full welds and then we'll install it after just to not burn the wood of the boat. I am hereby going to wrap up, the welders are leaving, I'm going to wrap up day three of our everyday posting until this boat launches. We've gotten so far in three days, I feel, and uh, we're gonna get very far still. These are the most lower things that have been done. So the sacrificial keel is now placed. I just need to cover it in epoxy resin, which I don't have anymore because I used it all on that last bit here. Also, this metal plate is almost in place. It's all been kind of mounted, it just has to be welded together and a bunch of Seekerflex has to be, be put on. That's gonna be for tomorrow. They have announced a big thunderstorm at 10 a.m. We'll see what happens. Either way, we've got lots to do, so we won't be bored at all tomorrow. Don't forget to hit that like button. If this video provided any form of entertainment to you, it would really mean a lot to us. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. It means a lot to us, it's free, and you don't miss out on any part of our journey, especially now as we're posting every single day. Go, come on, come on. A rope! A rope! <laughs>